I'm in the vehicle and someone just came in. Oh, hi. It's Anthony. It's like you can't get enough of them over the last couple <laughs> vlogs. Uh, today, we're going to go look at a building. Right? Something Let's like that. Go. Something like that. Yeah. Um, am I allowed to see the address yet? Probably not, right? Not yet. All right, not yet. But I can show you the inside. I just can't show you the outside. The inside's going to be pretty nifty. We'll see how that goes. Nothing but hallway. Wonderful. Yeah, someone playing a workout space, of course. And we are officially done, so let's let's roll. A better understanding on like what my role is, uh, it'll be a lot tighter. Because I know, like for like for me, it's like from eight to two is kind of where I do my recon and anything in between. Perfect. Like I know that yeah. for sure. That's what I would do. Yeah. Like this is. And today we are doing um, breathing. Well, breath work. I mean, got some, some cool. oh, that part actually changes color. Oh, wow. So I finished working out. As you can see, my background is definitely not my background because dun 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 dun. We are F definitely not at Vince's house. We're at the Lao residence and. <laughs> Uh, because Vince has music playing in the background, I'm about to get demonetized, which is whatever. Who cares? <laughs> it's okay. I, I don't have any monetization access yet. I don't have enough uh, views. Really? Yeah. But Vince is making some grubbly grubs today. Vince, what 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 is the deal, yo? What are you making, friend? I made smoked beef brisket for about 12 hours. Whoa. My own secret rub Whoa. and my own special sauce on it. Whoa. Got some side dishes over here. Got kimchi, some pickled daikon radishes, uh, sweet potato salad. Mm -hmm. And I got some zucchini and some grilled skewers. And that's a uh, corn cheese queso. Ooh, that's so tasty. Can now, it, even though it's in the cooler right now, once everyone arrives, it's gonna be start so baking it. Yes, sir. Yeah. And also, Vince is gonna host his first event in a month, so I'm excited to film that as well. We have a special guest right here. Both of right yeah. Look! Ben is here. Oh, I am here. The team is slowly assembling. I'm oh. you fix your stuff. I don't know what you're fixing, but so there's a railing that was like out of a line. <laughs> Are you guys ready for Goat City? Goat, Goat City, bitch! So I'm ready. All right, I'm ready. Ready, first slice. Is there a smoke ring? Oh, there is some smoke ring. Okay. Oh. Oh my god, dude, it smells so good. Look at that color. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. The real test is the middle, where it bends. <laughs> the real test is the end cut. The end cut, yeah. Did you see me at end cut? End cut? What end cut? Yeah. Huh? What end cut? Like right there, and like right here. <laughs> Dude, I can feel my gout flaring up right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where are these? Those are cherry uh, candy tomatoes. Oh. Look at that crust. That looks amazing. Right. So this is the flat. It looks a bit dry, but, you know. How, how long did you roast that for? I told you So I did a fast cook. It took about nine hours, mm -hmm. and I rested for three. Oh, look at that red outline. Oh, you pour it. Yeah, it is. I think it's behind the scenes of yeah. behind the scenes. Nice. Whoa. That's hot. Take a glove, man. Uh, we are officially at Cafe Amore. Look at this drink. 
Uh, I got the batchy, Carol got the batchy, and Will's got a giant ass Caesar, man. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I totally forgot to take photos of the Abbey's. But... Oh yes, oh my gosh. On a huge tree. That's a huge tree. Thank you so much. You like some extra parmesan? Uh, yeah, cheese me up. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, please. Awesome, thank you. Any chili plates? Yes, please. Oh my gosh. Can we get some extra plates too? Oh, yeah. So. Is that one more? Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Bro, what the? He gave us a party platter. Lord! So, it is. Card that we're supposed to do with it. Oh, is this what I think this is? I think this is what I think this what is. What do you think it is? Uh, it's for beer. Yeah, so you can put hot or cold in it, but you can freeze the puck at the bottom. So you can just leave for your crowd, your beer, right? So this, if you only have a 12 ounce can, yeah. you can freeze that, put that in the freezer, and then it keeps it cold. But and then I was, and then I was like almost 16 when I started dating him. Oh, wow. So like, <laughs> all right. All right. So we have the main event here. So for you, we have the panisse. It's seasoned with a little sage and parsley. But you're gonna find a squash uh, and hemp heart uh, romesco sauce. We've got some grilled onion tucked in there, some pickled onion. We've got some charred kale and then some uh, pickled squash as well. Awesome. Okay. For the two of you, we have our beef. We've got a six ounce cut, a seven ounce cut, both done to medium. We've got a buttermilk and sautéed onion, uh, sautéed uh, onion uh, puree there to serve mashed potato. Pardon me. I apologize. I forgot to sell them no mushroom. Are you allergic? To no, I'll just okay. give it to him. He loves them. I should have just said he's a little bit Perfect. There's also some roasted root vegetables tucked in there. And then alongside we have a beef ragu. So you can uh, do a few oh. things there. You can eat it out of the pot. You can go for a pot right over the plate. Okay? Perfect. You have one of my personal favorites. I almost got that. It's all excellent. It's all personal choice. Yes. I love this one. Um, so we have a, uh, a six ounce pork chop from our friends uh, Danny and Shannon down at Nature's Green Acres. This evening there's a, uh, a pork and braised cabbage towards the air tucked beneath. Oh, hello everyone. Um, it's been a while. Well, at least it feels it's been a while. I'm at Irrational Brewing uh, across the street from, I don't know if you can see it from here. Probably not, but there's a, oh, right there, the red sign. That's a Maxwell brokerage. And I am setting up a little cutco table and doing a little bit of networking. Sell some knives today and yeah, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Oh, back to doing relatively live. All right, nothing fancy. Uh, super small table at the corner, but I'm in the big main foyer, I guess, whatever you want to call it. And um, this is going to be about 60 people here today, so it'll be really good. Look half decent, right? Look okay. Here we go. Here we go. We got the all dimension. Bye. I know it's checked out right now. Good. Not just as But um, one of the people we have here is one of our sponsors is Wilson with Cutco. So uh, Cutco knives for when you use them as prizes. Wilson right here. Cutco. We got a door prize um, from Cutco, but also if you have any questions, just talk to uh, Wilson. He didn't want to do a big spiel here because he. Oh man, I wish I filmed a little bit more, but this is uh, the end of the first, first, first event of the year, so. That, for sure the dial pad is way better because the numbers are nice yeah. and big. Yeah, and then, surely we can take better and then, yeah. I mean, I only have an iPhone 10, right? It's not even the yeah. XL or whatever, and I have to be like, yeah. seven. And I'm like, ugh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And also quick, just, just a random question. Yeah, yeah. What are your favorite colors? Um... Ooh, that's a beautiful question. Um, woo wee, that was fun. Building an app, being more efficient. Sometimes it just takes personal pain point with a program that the company doesn't have the time or the speed to do. And then I'm just gonna put my own money into it and hopefully everyone enjoys what I made with the boys and we'll take care of it. Give me like the middle of Q3. That's when it's gonna pop off. That's my prediction. All right, well, we just finished the first ever episode podcast. Vicky's right here. She's still alive. Oh, hello. And 
like I said, I really wanted to start the podcast, so I'm going to be a man of my word and start recording some episodes and then start launching it in March because I think how podcast works, you can't just do one episode. you got to, like, have, have a, a bunch so yeah. people can binge watch and then they can expect the next episode to come. So pretty much all of February, I'm going to be filming. Uh, my goal is to do 10 podcasts, film that, and then our buddy Alan, mutual friend, is going to take care of the rest. Uh, there's a bar behind me and friends, friends. Hello. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, Eddie's leaving tomorrow. Hello. We never got a chance to shoot the Demon Slayer cosplay, but that's okay. We can do it later. Yeah. But everyone's here to celebrate Eddie. Leaving. Jenny. Jenny's posing for no reason. Yeah, Jeff video. <laughs> <laughs> look at all, look at all these slaves. Oh all the birds here. Look at all the lights. <laughs> nice you, Happy birthday! 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 Happy I don't know, man. Oh, they're so good. Uh, mac and cheese, sausage, more oh. gout friendly meals. Yeah. So gout friendly. You know what? We might as well just stand around this table and, and kind of and eat them. Yeah. yeah. So we want to do like um, specials for foods, like for your food one specifically, we would do like $50 gift cards for up to three people, so like $150 giveaway. And oh, hello there everyone. I am using a wallet that my dad bought me, I think five or six years ago. And it's a, it's a wallet that I've always been challenged to use. And here's why. It is a LV wallet. <laughs> Um, I'm not the most materialistic guy, but because of the new Lunar New Year and just wanting to love on my dad, I know he spent some cash monies on the wallet and I decided, you know what, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this wallet. I've already stuffed it with uh, a whole bunch of stuff in there. And of course, I'm going to put it inside my custom fanny pack. So. I'm just going to upgrade myself, upgrade my life, uh, not materialistically, but definitely quality over the quantity. So uh, this is my old fossil wallet and don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this wallet. It was like for 20 bucks, I think, at the Calgary Outlet Mall. Um, I've tried to do my own personal stitching, as you can see. At the same time, it's all good. Um, I still love this wallet. 